Another day, another story. Does mysticism have a place in quantum mechanics today, or is the idea that the mind plays a role in creating reality best left to philosophical meditations? Cut to a shot of Harvard historian Juan Miguel Marin. Harvard historian Juan Miguel Marin argues the former. Cut to visuals of Marin's published paper. Dot not because physicists today should account for consciousness in their research, but because knowing the early history of the philosophical ideas in quantum mechanics is essential for understanding the theory on a fundamental level. In a recent paper published in the European Journal of Physics, Marin has written a short history, based on a longer analysis, of the mysticism controversy in the early quantum physics community. As Marin emphasizes, the controversy began in Germany in the 1920s among physicists in reaction to the new theory of quantum mechanics, but was much different than debates on similar issues today. At the turn of the last century, science and religion were not divided as they are today, and some scientists of the time were particularly inspired by Eastern mysticism. In his analysis, Marin lays out each player's role and perspective in the controversy, and argues that studying the original interpretations of quantum mechanics can help scientists better understand the theory. Becoming aware of this subject would help general audiences realize that there are many other alternatives besides the ones offered by the disjunction between science and religion. The controversy boils down to the age-old question of the nature of reality. As Einstein, a firm realist, once asked, does the moon exist only when looked at? Although such a viewpoint seems unlikely in our everyday lives, in quantum mechanics, physicists' observations can sometimes affect what they're observing on a quantum scale. As the famous Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics argues, we cannot speak about an objective reality other than that which is revealed through measurement and observation. Marin explains, the debate of consciousness in quantum theory began around 1927 when Einstein accused Niels Bohr of introducing a mysticism incompatible with science. Bohr denied the accusation and blamed it on Einstein misunderstanding him when he said that humans are both actors and observers in the world. Yet while Bohr believed that quantum processes occurred without the need for observers, he also sympathized with the idea that an extension of quantum theory might help in understanding consciousness. Wolfgang Pauli truly did harbor some of the views that Einstein accused Bohr of. Still, other physicists had different views. The mysticism controversy also expanded into the public realm. Starting in 1929 with first astrophysicist Arthur Eddington's popular book The Nature of the Physical World, in the next few years, Werner Heisenberg and Erwin Schrödinger leaned toward the side of mysticism, irritating Einstein and Planck. For others, the choice was not clear-cut. In 1958, Schrödinger, inspired by Schopenhauer from youth, published his lectures Mind and Matter. Here he argued that there is a difference between measuring instruments and human observation. A thermometer's registration cannot be considered an act of observation, as it contains no meaning in itself. Thus, consciousness is needed to make physical reality meaningful. As Marin notes, Schrödinger's lectures mark the last of a generation that lived with the mysticism controversy. The controversy died in the second half of the century when the physics culture switched to Anglo-American. Most contemporary physicists are, like Einstein, realists, and do not believe that consciousness has a role in quantum theory. As Marin has shown, the mysticism controversy in quantum mechanics did not involve just a few physicists and mystics. Dot, but at one time, it attracted the physics community at large. Marin hopes that scientists today might gain a new perspective on their research by considering how the founders of quantum mechanics viewed the theory. Join us on this journey into the fascinating intersection of mysticism and quantum mechanics, and discover how the past continues to shape our understanding of the universe. Thanks for watching.